Hi boys and girls, we are here in this page of your packet to talk about cause and effect in our story, The Wind and the Sun. So we're here to talk about what caused things to happen. Last time we met, we talked about the key events of what happened. Now what made those things happen? And what happened as a result of those things? What happened after those things happened? So let's talk about what causes the sun and the wind to have a contest. So what caused the sun and the wind to have a contest? Let's take a look. Okay, so here on page seven, I notice this is where the wind had the idea for the contest. Hmm, so it must have happened before that. So I went back to page six and Oh, that's when they noticed the traveler. So that's what gave them the idea. Hmm, it looks like I need to go back even further to figure this out. So I went all the way back to page two and I saw, oh, yes, they were having an argument. They were arguing about who was the strongest. So they must have wanted to have the contest to settle their argument. So now you can see in my packet, I started with an uppercase and used proper nouns with uppercase letters for the names of the characters, sun and wind, and I wrote in a complete sentence with a period at the end. Sun and wind were arguing about who was the strongest, and that led, right here, to sun and wind having a contest. And you can see how I use the words from the story to help me in my writing. So let's look at the next one. The sun, or sorry, the wind begins to blow. What happens because the wind began to blow? Hmm. What happened as a result of that? Hmm. Let's look. Okay, here on page eight, I found the words, wind began to blow. But as I kept reading, I saw, oh, the wind kept blowing after that. So I kept reading, and here I got to, the traveler wrapped his cloak more tightly across himself. So right after the wind blows, the traveler wraps the cloak. Okay, so let's think how we're going to write that. And that's right, this time I found the words here, and so I wrote in a complete sentence, the traveler wrapped his cloak tightly across himself, period, at the end. And I did have to add a little line at the bottom of each of my boxes to make it fit. That's okay. Let's move on to the next one. And it looks like, oh, we're trying to find the cause that led to this effect. Let's read the effect. The man takes off his cloak. Hmm, what caused that effect? What caused the man to take off his cloak? Do you remember? Hmm, let's find it in our reading. Well, here I found the effect. Look, tore off his cloak. So I looked right before it, what caused it to happen? What was it, what was it? The sun shone hotter and hotter and hotter. So I'm gonna leave the last one up to you to write in a complete sentence. Start with your uppercase, end with your period. Hmm. The man takes off his cloak because... What happens? You got this. I can't wait to read it.